Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Designs. I'm back today. I had packed this on our trip and I could not find my mini planner. Have you ever done that? I mean, goodness gracious. So I was just going, I was literally just going through every single thing I could pick up. And this was in a gift bag. <laughs> we went into an Epicurean shop and came home with all these lovely, you know, jams and jellies and <laughs> bits and pieces. And it was down in there and I was like, I found it yesterday and I was like, oh my goodness. Because I knew I had seen it in a bag. Anyways, okay, I carry on. But anyways, it was it was one of those things where you're just like, have I lost it? Have I Have I lost my mind? <laughs> have I lost it? And I still haven't found my gratitude journal to either from that trip. So I thought I had unpacked everything, but I guess I hadn't. So anyways, all right, guys. So I hope that made you laugh this morning. I'm back with, <clears throat> pardon me, my ginger turmeric tea. I'm really cold this morning. So if I had that fingernail polish on that turned colors, my fingernails would be blue. But um, so excuse my tea. I've got my tea here, which I took a sip. Excuse me. I've got my washi, I've got, <clears throat> this washi is from, pardon me, is from Joann's, and this was just at the checkout, and it's their brand, so I thought I would play with that. I've got my beautiful, um, you know, copper rose gold washi from um, Target, and when I just opened both of these, and so um, this is the Scotch brand, and then I also have my functionals. I'm also going to pull out my other um, planner at some point here. I want to have that one there. And then for those of you who've been asking, what do you do for breakfast? Sometimes I just go to the store and buy one of these little packages of cantaloupe. I've had people ask me like, well, when you travel, what do you do? Well, I do a lot of things like this, like this will be breakfast. And um, people look at that and say, how in the world can you eat all that? Well, I don't eat it all at one sitting. Um, I usually like eat half and then I might nibble the rest, the rest of the day, or, um, I'll, um, and this just came from, this came from Walmart, so it was like three dollars and some change, um, like, just less than four dollars, and then, um, or I'll, um, eat half and then save half for the next day, but, um, I love cantaloupe, I love cantaloupe, I could eat it all day, every day, and just be on cloud nine, um, it's, there's something about it, when I grew up, whoops, sorry guys, didn't mean to bump you, when I grew up, um, cantaloupe was like a staple, I don't know why, my mom always had cantaloupe for us, and, um, and it was good, it was just so good, so, all right guys, I, let's get back on task here, sorry, I'm gonna get back to planning, let me take one more sip of my tea, And I really just put my hands on the on the um the, the mug. I am so cold this morning. I don't know why. Um, it's not cold here yet, but um, but I am in sweaters. But oh well. We went to Bible study last night, and um, it was raining, raining, raining again here in Texas. I think we're having eighty percent again today, but it doesn't look like rain. So I'm waiting to see. But all right, guys. So I'm in my mini happy planner in um, October. So, since I missed half of September, got to get at it. <laughs> so, these came from Michael's as well, and I meant to say that. These came, these stickers came from Michael's, Joann's, and Target. So, okay. Let's get going. I was looking at this, and I was thinking, oh, I was just going to do all my fall washi and this, that, and the other. Um, I may or may not. I'm not really sure yet. Let me let me take another peek and see if I have anything else that I don't. No, I don't do anything else. I was going to use, um, I was thinking, contemplating about this being only a Dollar Tree planner, you know, but there's not a lot of room on here. And I do have some smaller stickers, but I just still was like, no, I think I'll wait. And I may pull out, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, guys, so I do love these two together. And it is fall, so I think I'm going to go here with that. Um, I hope you guys are having a good day. Sorry, kind of a slow start for me here. And my birds are going crazy. I don't know what the deal is. They've been fed. They've been watered. I think they're just so tired of all the the rain. And my husband, oh, bless his heart, we, he was up at, oh, crack of dawn. 
um, and he had a hard time getting up today, and I understood why. Um, we are in tax season, and, um, you know, I was telling our Bible study leader last night, I was like, oh, can you believe I'm, I just can't believe I'm saying these words, and she was just like, well, but that's what you do now, and I said, no, I said, I grew up with it, I don't know, you know, my husband's always been corporate, so I don't, you know, it's always just one of those weird things for us, but anyways, I don't know, do I want to go this one, or I think I want to go this one here, on the other side of that, but, um, so, and she started laughing, she goes, well, it is where you're at now, and I said, yeah, exactly, so, um, but, um, we are, oh, goodness, we are in the last week of all the extension work and uh, and because my dad it was his practice um, that we you know took on um, you know some of these uh, clients who they, they're just so wonderful I mean we are so blessed sorry guys I'm gonna pick that up again but for my husband like I said he's been corporate all these years so this is a whole different world for him and, um, you know, I told him, I said, well, you know, my dad was never worked on the day of the deadline. And, you know, I worked for my dad for six years. And he said, well, I'm not your dad. And I said, yeah, but I'm going to tell you, you don't want to work on the day of the deadline. And he was like, well, you use every bit of it. And I said, no, 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 you need to hear me. <laughs> you don't want to work on the day of the deadline. And he was just like, well, why not? And I said, because... Um, if there's any last minute catches, that's when you want to do it. And, you know, and he was like, well, I don't have that luxury, and I don't have this, and I have that. And I said, just get yourself used to getting things done early if you can. And I love getting everything done early. I'm kind of one of those people. But I will admit, you know, just like my husband, you know, this is all new. This has been our life. It's been so upside down and changed that, yeah, you don't always get that luxury. So, you know, but, but we're learning. I mean, that's all, you know, that's all you can do. You just have to learn. And, um, so anyways, and my husband, bless his heart, <laughs> he's, he's so bright and he is very, very bright. He, um, and I don't say that to brag. I just say that as a matter of part of this story. Um, he is he goes back and he rechecks, you know, two or three years, and he's finding things that have to be amended, and, you know, I finally told him, I said, you know, I, I understand that, you know, you're wanting to make sure it's all done right, and I so appreciate that, and I know the clients do too, but I think you also need to remember that we have a deadline, and you may need to make amendments later and just proceed with the current tax year, and, um, you know, until we get past this deadline, then you can, you know, easily go back and do all the amendments, and, you know, and you hate to say that because, you know, I mean, honestly, as a teacher, I would never tell a student that, but anyway, he's not my student, he's my husband, but it has been one of those kind of situations where I think he's had to finally understand, I don't think I like that, that there, hold on, but I have a different plan, um, I don't like that, that there, did you get that? <laughs> But I think, you know, it's just one of those things where he just has to find his way. And, and I just have to be quiet and let him find his way. But I'm the person that has to process, assemble, mail, deliver, whatever's left. And um, anyways, it is just one of those situations where um, <clears throat> for my husband, you know, this is all new. For me, I know the pressure of the deadline but for him it's still all new and exciting and interesting and all those things and for me I just have to be just quiet take a breath and just know that you know God's got a plan he's gonna work it out and I just need to be quiet and work and wait and um, and sometimes it's easier said than done you know um, oh no where are my scissors hmm I have a little scissor fairy come in here. Hold on. Guys, guys. I did have a scissor fairy. I think they came in and took every pair of scissors. Let's see if I have one in this bag. Nope, I do not. Oh, that is so 
weird. And usually that lizard fairy has the deepest voice in everybody in the house. So I wonder if my husband came and borrowed him. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? I will come back later. So what I'm, what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, cut this off, and then trim it. You know what I can do? This is what I'm going to do. Just for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and cut it that way. And then I'm just going to flip it under. Since I've, this day's already gone by, it's fine, right? And even if it weren't fine, that kind of has a nice look to it, doesn't it? So I'll come back and I'll trim that little bit off. So, because I kind of like that. I think that looks pretty. Okay, so there's that part is done. And, okay, I'm going to get one more sip of tea. So, in the meantime, we've been just trying to just get, huh. So, I'm going to put due day for the 15th. And then, I know we're taking a trip on that Sunday. Our, um, our sweet, um, I'm going to put this. It's, it's like a grocery bag, but I'm going to pretend it's like a gift bag. <laughs> our daughter's fiance's birthday is this coming weekend. So we're going to go out Sunday, go to church with them, and, um, and then come back and have a birthday party or, you know, have, take them out to dinner. And then we're going to go on from there. We're going to go and come back and then work. And then so we'll be working on Sunday afternoon and evening and, and my husband was like, it's going to be an all-nighter. And I was like, absolutely not. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I told him, we have Bible study that night. We are going to be at Bible study that night, okay? And he was like, well, I don't know. And I said, Stephen, it, 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 honey, it has to all be done by then because I have to get it in the mail. And he was just like, okay. And I said, I'm sorry, but we have to. <laughs> so... <laughs> Bless his heart. He didn't know. And so, anyways, I'm going to put this here to pay bills. Um, and then I was wondering that I had payday. Hmm. <laughs> I'll be going to the post office. My days to go to the post office are Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Unless we're trying to mail returns, which today I'll be going to the post office. And today's Tuesday. So, <clears throat> I will go today, but, um, and actually, yep, I'll be going today and tomorrow, but, um, and I actually have a whole lot coming in, too, from, um, oh, what's that place? Amazon. So, I am super excited. I have a new project coming up for us next week, and y'all come back. I am super, super excited. Um, I've got a whole lot of fun things going on, and I have to make calls, what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start making all my calls on Tuesday, Thursday, if that works that way, even for the practice. Um, I am, put that in the wrong day. I am trying to only do the estate so many days per week, the practice, you know, unless there's a deadline, so many days per week. Um, I'm trying to do the partnership, you know, somewhere in there as well, and so... I know that sounds really odd to people, but it just is what it is, and, you know, there comes a point in all of our lives where it's like, oh, I've just got to get this done, you know, and I, and I have to do things in my home, and I have to take care of my family, and things that just didn't get taken care of for so long. I mean, my family was so patient, and they waited on me, and so, and so I don't have any more of the male ones from this set, but I have them in another one, so I'll come back and I'll get them for Monday. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, those are my mail days, and my phone call days, let me finish that out, are going to be Tuesday, Thursday, I think I have plenty to get done through the month, and so I'm really, really trying to take care of these things as best as I can, so though today, it's going to be an all three day, today I have to put together tax returns, drop them at the post office, I have to go by the bank, and get a notarized document done, I have to mail something for the estate, I've got to fill out paperwork for the estate, and I've got to make a phone call. I really need to make phone calls for the estate, but I'm going to wait and save those for Thursday. And then I have phone calls for the practice today, and I have done nothing today or this week hardly on the, um, on the, on the partnership. So, you know, and then I do need to do medicine uh, 
And I'm just going to put this little doctor's hat here, <laughs> nurse's hat. Um, and that's going to be my, I've got to get our vitamins and I, I have prescription medicines for thyroid. You can get that. So Tuesdays are that day for me. And, um, and I do have pills, but, you know, just making it stretch even further. And I told my daughter last night, I said, we have got to get some laundry done on Wednesday. I'm going to be working on our personal stuff. And then Thursday and Friday, we will do laundry. She is really busy with her classes. She has a test today. So while I'm out today, I'm going to be helping her with that. Uh, I have to drive her over to the college, and while she's doing that, I'm running errands. So, you know how this works. You know. <laughs> so, anyways. But, um, oh, I did that for last week. Let me do it for this week. <laughs> and I don't do laundry on, I try not to do it on Fridays, so I am going to do it this week on Friday. Because, because. Okay, but next week, let me set these other ones first, so I'm going to be doing it Thursday this week. We are behind, whoops, that's the same color. That's the same color. Well, I definitely have an affinity, or lack of affinity for those colors, but anyways, I'll do the bright pink. Um, I am trying to um, only do laundry Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, if we can do that. Today, no laundry, but, you know, we may get one thing done, and I may ask her to go start one load. Um, I hang all my clothes. I don't know what y'all do, but I hang all my clothes. I find that they last much, much longer. You know, they don't wear out as quickly. They um, they don't lose their shape. Um, of course, I don't, you know, I never dried um, sweaters, but, you know. And, um, but I, um... That's just what I've done. And if they're, you know, borderline too small, guess what? They don't, they're not too small. You know, they, they don't get too small on me. So, um, but we, my clothes and always get done. I know. So, um, I am going to try to um, not, you know, to, to, to kind of be ahead on my laundry. And so, we literally are trying to get all these different things in order. Oops, I put this on the wrong side. Hold on, guys. Um, but, um, so I've got to get all of the laundry finished up. But my clothes never get done. That's what I was saying. My, la my laundry never gets done. So I've got to kind of get on that. But I am, I was talking to my husband. He's going to do a complete clean, clear out. I'm going to do a complete clear out. We're all trying to get everything kind of cleared out. And, you know, um, I've got a lot of clothes I need to sort through. You know, you just, you have nothing, and then you're like an overload. I don't know how that happens. Well, I do know how that happens. Hold on one sec. You literally, um, you don't have anything, and then uh, um, you wake up, and it's like, oh, my gosh, I really, really, really you know, need to go get some things, and so I do a lot with LuLaRoe because I have two sweet ladies that are my LuLaRoe ladies, and, um, and they literally do such a great job of, you know, if they get something, they'll call me, or, you know, or vice, or I'll call them, or I'll, they do online things, so I'll do that too, and anyway, so long story short, we, um, I am going to go marketing today, grocery store, um, Oops, I still keep thinking this is today. Sorry, guys. I really am awake. Um, but so I just, they'll, they'll call me and they'll say, hey, I've got this. And they'll send me pictures. And then they'll pop it in the mail. Or, you know, like one of my friends, she lives here in town. And so it makes it really nice. And um, I don't wear everything from Little Row. There's just certain things that I like that fit great. And um, and they look really nice. And they travel fantastic. They're just fantastic. Hold on one sec. Excuse me. So, but I really do, um, and I enjoy supporting um, women with small businesses. And I'm gonna put this little banner here that says "Yay." It's got a little, it's got a little unicorn on it. It's so cute because I figure when we get to Tuesday next week, it's gonna be yay. Um, <laughs> I was telling our Bible study leader last night. I said we just gotta get to Tuesday. 
and she said, well, what's the deal? And I said, well, we've got tax deadline, and, you know, we're just kind of talking it through. And I said, you know, for me, I would just watch my dad just sit and bang him out. And for me, I watch my husband, and he doesn't do that. And it, it, it's, I appreciate he's different. He's a different person. I know all those things, but, but, <laughs> you know. Um, this, we make our own cleaners, and that's, uh, so we, we make our own with essential oils and spray bottles, and so usually Monday's the day that I like to get that done. Um, we literally make our own wipes. We buy baby wipes, unscented, and I just, I put in the container, I will put some of this, um, I use half vinegar, half water, and then I add lavender and tea tree, and sometimes I'll do thieves, and I don't know if you know what thieves is, it's with Young Living, so... Um, but these smells better, and so people complain about the smell of the vinegar, which I understand. It doesn't bother me, but I understand it bothers others. So there are literally like, um, you know, and I keep the bottles all over the house. I even keep them in the car. We try not to use Purell. Um, my, my, I have, hand, you know, I have sensitive skin, so, you know, I can, I can only use certain things. So anyway, so we do vinegar, and we make our vinegar spray on, usually on Tuesday, or Mondays, so... Tuesday, what am I saying? Mondays. So we start the week. And when we do that, we fill all the wipe boxes because we just literally, here's this, we buy baby wipes box, we fill it, and then we put our own spray in it. And it, I can smell the spray when I open it up. And it's so much better than like um, bleach wipes. I don't, I have a few left from when my parents were alive. Um, we did use bleach wipes in their home um, because my, you know, my dad and my mom, even though my dad can smell um, he really didn't have a sense of smell, um, but, um, I just, you know, we didn't do that. We just, out of respect, so, anyways, but, okay, guys, I think I've planned everything. The only thing I don't have down here is my Bible study, and I don't have enough of my, uh, mail. I'm trying to see if there's anything else that would work for mail, um, I would love to take a day off here on Tuesday after that, but I won't. Um, but I am, by the end of the month, I am going to take a Monday completely off. I am going to catch up on Bible study and a few things. I, I, I know that sounds weird to people, but I am going to be taking some time off because though I took a break this summer from the estate, I didn't take a complete break. I still had to take care of the house and all those things. So, um, that's going to be a complete break. I mean, my sister's out of the country right now on vacation and she sent me pictures and it's gorgeous and it's beautiful. I'm so happy for her. I really, really am. Um, but I know that I'm going to need a break by the end of the month. And I don't know if I may, like, drive up and see my aunt. I don't know what I'm going to do. And that's not even really, like, a break day. But I know that, like, I would love to just sit and play with art and just sit and make mess and all that. But then I'd have to have my studio cleaned up. So it's a push-pull. We'll see. We'll see. But I'm hoping by this Monday that I would be back in my studio. We're going to see. So, um, okay, what else is there? These are to-do lists. I don't have a place for that right now. Bill pay bills. <laughs> yep, I will do that right here. Well, I won't be a day off there, will it? So I'll do it here on Friday. Um, let's see. I don't think there's anything else. Um, I think that's it. I like the don't procrastinate. That's going to be up here at the top. <laughs> Actually, it's going to be remember don't procrastinate. Because uh, I myself, like I... I know people say I'm going really slow on this estate, but you know what? We came out of a really rough season, and, you know, I think that's great. There we go. Remember, don't procrastinate. Okay, guys, that's it. So, um, I can't wait to get the scissors to fix this. Oh, well, almost fixed it. Okay, fixed it well enough for the end of this. All right, guys, here's my October in my mini happy planner. It's tiny, but it's the one I carry in my purse. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, we'd love to have you be a part of us. And most importantly, I pray your day is blessed, creative, and lovely. And thank you guys for stopping by. I'll be talking to you all soon. Bye-bye.